Hello, everybody. And hi, Keith. Welcome back to the 24th week of the spiritual journey. Now, I hope that Keith has had a good week. Yes, we've just had a conversation um, on Zoom, and I'm recording this again because he has a problem with his tablet um, and can't actually see much on his tablet at the moment. So we'll have to work that one out. Um, so last week, we were considering the difference between common law, the law of the land, versus legal law, the law of the sea, also known as maritime law. <clears throat> okay. We looked also at the three meanings of the, the film, The Wizard of Oz. That was last week. I suggested uh, to Keith uh, a book in PDF form to download and read. Yes. And so if people could do that, I would like you to, to read up to page 33. Now that is a number on this journey. I have said is connected to the comprehension of Jacob's Ladder and the 33 vertebrae. Yes. Now the download, uh, the book that you may wish to read is, is on uh, the PDF and in the Facebook group. Yes, the spiritual journey. It's called Straw Man Story, a free download. If you take the meaning of the book and common law to be true, you will see that we are not the title that was created through our birth certificate that is fictitious. We are real flesh and blood men and women, not legal fictions in any way, part of the nations of the legal law. In fact, legal law is just made for cargo. Yes, it's made for trading between corporations and corporation rules. Now, this is made clear in the Bible when considering the nations, the UN and legal law. If we look at Psalm 2.4, uh, it says, The one enthroned in heaven laughs, the Lord scoffs them. Yes, he, uh, in that he's talking about the nations. It becomes clear, well, or the nations are law, are, are, have a law for themselves. So it becomes clear that a fictitious person a title is unnatural and from this we can comprehend better the story of Gulliver. He was a giant, yes, as he was in his real self. Whilst all the Lilliputians or Lilliputians had titles, king, mayor, pope, priest, tinker, tailor, etc. Mr. Mrs. Miss Doctor Patient. They are all fictitious titles or real titles in legal law. Now only the real you is any of importance to you, the one you were born with, the natural you. To become that title is to become that fiction, to believe that you are that title. Yes? The difference is to be able to see this and to do something about it by growing the, the real you in you instead of feeding your title, your ego or ideology, the idol of self. Now, there is a story. A young man or someone looking for their real self went up to a, a wise man and said, excuse me. It is said that there are two tigers in oneself, a good one 
and a bad one. How, how do, how can one know which will be the strongest in you? The wise man replied, clearly it is the one that you feed the most. So you can feed the real self or the legal self. The question that poses is how best to feed the real self. The first thing to do, therefore, is to give your, or one of the first things you can do, is to give your real self a name, not a registered name, yes, not a legal name, but a name you wish to use just for your own development of that real you, of that which is real in you. So the feeding goes to the real you, not the ego, the ideology, the idol of self, your title, etc. So there is a three week break and I'd like you, Keith, and anyone watching can do this too, to create a new name for yourself just for the spiritual journey, the spiritual man or woman that you are. So, just to look, a quick look at the tarot, as this is the completion of the second year course meeting, 24. Yes, 24, looking at numerology. Now, for number two, yes, we have the priestess card, yes. And it's the feminine principle, card number two. For esoteric knowledge and the feminine principle. Whereas the four here in 24 is the light and direction, the masculine principle. These are in balance. Yeah? So now you've got 24, two and four. The imbalance, the masculine and the feminine principle, which we see, we can also um, add the two and the four in numerology to make six, which comes to the promise of life card. Yes, so you have the masculine and feminine principle in oneself. Um, in oneself, looking to the horizon. Yes, holding hands, looking to the horizon. Now, this is at some level, we say tw uh, number 24, like the hours of, hours of the day, 24 hours, and the laws that, at that level, according to the laws of creation, yes, of which, Keith and myself and everyone is naturally a part of. Now we have three golden numbers. Yes, they're called golden numbers. Yes, the even numbers. Three numbers, two in the negative vector. Yes, now we can apply these to our cosmic triangle and we have two for our negative vector now that's for absorption of knowledge four yes um, hang on we got two here four there so um four is the vector for standards and purpose thinking in neutral and the positive vector would be six Yes, to radiate shine with the qualities and promise of life. So just go over that again. Um, two is the, the vector of absorption. Four for standards and purpose. Six to radiate those qualities. And that brings us 
those are all things that surround the real self. The real self is in the middle, and we can put the number eight to that in the sequence two, four, six, eight. Yes. Now that's what's missing from our sequence. Now, number eight is the symbol for the eternal you and the justice card of path choosing. Yes, you can choose your path. Now, the homework for, for Keith is to go back to the war memorial to stand in the middle and close his eyes. Then just sense with his aura, with his electrical and magnetic life to find how the place feels to him, yes? Does it feel calm? Does it feel serene? Now, that, that exercise is just for experiencing, sensing, and becoming of, aware of the, the life that surrounds you. There are some video links for further research on the PDF, which is posted on the Universal Comprehension Academy School website. A link is provided in the comments under the YouTube video. Now, uh, there's a straw man, the fear of a Mac, fear of light. Um, now, once again, on the PDF, I leave a link for the Vercel Tarot, yes, which is verseltarot.com, all in one word. Or, yes, Vercel Tarot in one word, point or dot com, C O M. There is also a Facebook group for the Versal Tarot link below. Um, for those who, who go to the um, Academy website and um, are members. Now, for anyone who wishes to join us on the live Zoom meetings, contact me through either my website, Universal Comprehension Academy, or LinkedIn addresses provided in the comments under the YouTube video, or simply leave a comment in the YouTube comment section. Now, I'll leave it for this week um, there. The completion of your second year, and we'll talk again on the 30th of March, 2021, in extra time, which gives plenty of time for reflection. So we can have a chat then with Keith. And from me, it's, uh, it's bye for now. And from Keith also. Bye.